Hi, how you doing there, folks? I'm commenting on the, on the article in the New York Post saying on the president's speech yesterday. President, $30,000 more GIs for surge. I think this is a fantastic idea, folks, because you can't let the Taliban come back into power in Afghanistan. You let the Taliban extremists come back into power in Afghanistan, again, it's going to be safe haven for bin Laden. Plus, we need more troops there. If there's ever going to be uh, any hope of ever finding him or capturing him, folks. This was in past stories. Now, this was in the New York Post, Wednesday, December 2nd, 2009. Wednesday, December 2nd, 2000, 2009. All right, see, see the shades right there, folks. All right. I think it's a fantastic idea to send 30,000 more troops to Afghanistan because we can't let the Taliban is flourishing there. They're taking over more territory, more troops, more insurgents are coming across from Pakistan, Iran, coming across from Russia, and let me tell you what should be done with the 30,000 troops, the 30,000 additional troops. First of all, but the additional troops will have about 100,000 troops in Afghanistan. This is what should be done. The whole big reason why these insurgents came across and why all the trouble has happened in Afghanistan, same with Iraq, was you got to close the border. We didn't never close the border. You got to have troops along the border to make sh stop these insurgents from coming across. Same with Iraq. And we know what's for now Bush on purpose made sure there was not enough troops in Iraq or Afghanistan to get the job done while making sure there was just enough so it would not fall in back it would not fall into the hands that it shouldn't. And because of that there was constant chaos that went on almost forever. You know folks? Now this is what really should be done. Along the border with Pakistan and along the border with Iran Along each border there, there should be 10,000 troops along the border with Iran and 10,000 troops along the border with Pakistan to stop the insurgents from coming across. And there should be, there should be a, a another 3,000 troops along the border with Russia. Insurgents are less, they're less likely to come across from Russia than they are Pakistan and, I, and Iran, which is, uh, the hotbeds and the two main instigators of all the trouble that's gone there. That's 23,000 troops. Now, with 3,000 more troops, 4,000 more troops, those troops should be used to take more territory. You know, you know, take more territory and make and make attacks against the Taliban. And then use the, use the remaining 3,000 troops from the 30,000 you know, to hold on to, to hold on to the extra territory. At some future time, in the future, I think there should be an infusion, a second, a second surge of another, another 30,000 troops. And, and I'll, and with the, with the second, with the second surge, there should be 10,000 troops that should be used with the idea of searching for Bin Laden. Bin Laden and Al Qaeda, the Al Qaeda had honchos, and then the other twenty thousand should be used to take on more territory away from the Taliban and then controlling that territory. The only way we're going to actually win this thing is to is to attack the Taliban where they are and take take over and then can take over that territory while at the same time. You have to build up an Afghanistan army. Now, now the president wants to start pulling out in 18 months. He didn't say completely out. He just said we'll start taking troops out in 18 months, which is a good, which is a good plan. And then the Afghan army will slowly and slowly take over. Now, how many troops should 
should Afghanistan have before we pull out altogether? How much police should they have before we start pulling out altogether? Well, currently they have 90,000. So if they actually, they actually do the job right, there should be in Afghanistan 200,000. There should be an Afghan National Army of at least 400,000. Now another thing is, Afghanistan doesn't really, doesn't really have any kind of economy. It needs a, it needs an economy in order to support this. Now, how, how's that going to be done? Well, I got I thought of a perfect idea, okay? As you know, almost everything we have being made is being made in China right now, right? Why not make a free trade agreement with Afghanistan and it, and it would and it would be able there would be big competition for China, which I think would be would be fantastic. This is how it would be. All goods that retail for forty dollars or less goods to be imported from Afghanistan tariff free. And also Bush wanted to make a free trade agreement with Colombia and I think that's a good idea because they are our partners when it comes to the war and drugs and all that. Same same deal with, 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 with Colombia all goods that retail for forty forty dollars or less could be imported from Colombia tariff free. And there you go. And there you go, then you got some then you got some kind of Afghanistan will have some kind of an economy and Afghanistan could make similar the similar deal with other countries like the European Union to have goods imported from their tariff free. And there you go. Then all of a sudden you got jobs there. Then people are not gonna be thinking about fighting. One thing I'm gonna tell you folks, when people are making money People are not thinking about fighting or thinking about thinking about doing bad things. Once you start making money, you start feeling great about yourself, so you're getting somewhere, and then everything's great after that. All right. Yeah, I think that's a very good thing about 30,000 more troops, but I don't think that's enough. There's going to have to be more troops going there in the future.